Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Zupo's SEO Talk at Tea. Today's conversation, why does Zupo target keyword groups, not just keywords? This is uh, actually a little bit of a, a topic that, a little bit different from what we normally talk about on the channel. Uh, the reason being, we normally talk about SEO topics, but I feel like this is something that Zupo does in our engagements with our clients. And I feel like we get enough questions about it that I felt like, you know what, let me film a video about it just so people can understand why we kind of approach it the way we do. And maybe it'll change the way that you approach your um, SEO and keyword research strategy. So again, before we begin, I want to introduce the tea we have today. Today we have a green tea that was uh, gifted to my family. Uh, I'm actually not sure very much about this green tea. I just know it's a green tea. That's all I really know. But it, do it does taste very unique. Uh, it uh, has like a a tang to it. Green tea, I feel like, is usually a soft uh, tea or it can be bitter at times, but this one has a little bit of a, not bitter, but it's kind of like a sour tang to it. I haven't had it, I think, in like four months, so we're going to be, you know, I'm going to be like live trying it right now too. So let's go ahead and get this started and get talking. So uh, what, when Zupo, and when we do our engagements with clients, we do not tell clients, oh, this is the number of keywords you can rank for. How we do our engagements is the number of keyword groups. And so when, the difference between a keyword group and a keyword is a keyword group could have anywhere from like 10 to 15 to 20 keywords in that keyword grouping, um, as opposed to, uh, so a keyword group can have 15 to 20. So usually keywords, in other words, are housed in the keyword group. Now, the reason why we engage in keyword groups is understand that Google has changed a lot in its algorithm and the way it operates. Back in the day, in the 2000s and late 90s, I don't know if you can say the late 90s, let's say early 2000s, um, a lot of optimization was completely around keywords. Everything was very keyword heavy. And that was because Google's uh, algorithm was not sophisticated. They really didn't understand concepts. They under understood words. But Google has very much so improved its algorithm where now they understand entities, they understand concepts, right? And so the reason why that's important is because there are many searches that arguably are the same thing, but they look different. So a good example uh, I like to use is, uh, this sounds so boneheaded, but I promise it's very real, uh, pizza in Orange County and an Orange County pizza, right? They are written differently because the, the Orange County pizza and pizza in Orange County, they're flipped. Now, the problem is back when SEO first started, if you want to rank for these, you had to create like a page for a pizza in Orange County and then Orange County pizza because Google technically saw them as two different queries. Now, you and I know that that's the same search. You're just looking for pizza in Orange County or Orange County pizza restaurants, right? So the reason why we focus on keyword groups is many keywords can often have the same Search results are very similar because Google understands them as the same concept. So pizza in Orange County, Orange County pizza, those would be considered the same. So in that case, what you want to do when you're doing uh, keyword research is don't have every additional keyword be different. It's more about keyword grouping. So another good example that I can use is, you know, uh, we have a client, they do video production. Video production company, video production studio, video production agency. Those are three different words, but they actually show up usually the, the same search results because Google understands, okay, if someone's looking for a video production agency or company, they generally want the same thing. Now those keywords might be different, but when we're working with the client, it's considered the same optimization. We are, it is one keyword group under video production company or agency, and all these different variations of it will fit into the same. The way we dictate if they're all the same is we do Google searches of every keyword. And if the search results are comparatively similar, then we're going to consider the same keyword group. And the way that we know it's comparatively similar is if the same search results are appearing, um, not, they don't always have to be the same order, but generally in the same order and the same competitors, then we generally know it's the same uh, keyword group. So there is some manual testing, but we find that this is better because trying to go for marginal keywords isn't really making sense anymore. There are so many different queries and searches in the world. What we want to go for is keyword groupings. And the keyword groupings will then give us more of a conceptual entity-based kind of uh, strategy rather than just focusing on exact keywords. Now, when you're going for keyword groups, I wouldn't say ignore the keywords themselves. We still target the highest volume keyword searches first, and then we trickle down to the other ones. And that's still the case there. But when you're planning out, I would do keyword groups, not keywords, because Google has changed and you want to go for uh, in entire concepts and keyword groupings, not just keywords themselves. 
So hopefully that shines some light into why uh, Zupo does keyword groups instead of keywords in themselves. Um, and that will may maybe shape the way that you understand SEO or the way that your company is doing your keyword strategy. So if you guys found that video valuable, you know, please like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and pour my tea out now and hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks, everybody.